Hello, you're welcome again to MacM Tutorials. Today, I am going to teach you Physics IGCSE 0625-61, October, November 2021. But there is an aspect that I want to explain today, and that is the aspect of planning an experiment. From examiner's report, we have noticed that this aspect, which is usually the last question, that's question four, in IGCSE alternative to practicals has been giving candidates a lot of problems. They don't usually score high marks there. And that is why I want to explain how to answer this question. I wanted to sit back and um, enjoy the lesson for today and take note of every bit that I am going to say today. So this is the question. Question four, a student investigates the time taken to heat water in different and insulated containers. The containers all have the same volume and shape. The water is heated with an electric immersion heater. The following apparatus is available. A selection of containers, measuring cylinder, thermometer, supply of cold water, immersion heater, and power supply. Now, the question is this. Plan an experiment. Let me highlight this. Plan an experiment to investigate the time taken to heat water in different uninsulated containers. You should. One, you need to take note of this bullet list. List any additional apparatus that is required. List any additional apparatus that is required. Explain briefly how you would carry out the investigation. State the key variables that you would keep constant. Draw a table or tables with columns, column headings to show how you would display your readings. You're not required to enter any readings in the table. And then the last one, explain briefly how you would use your readings to reach a conclusion. If you look at this question, the marks here is seven marks. So how will you get the seven marks? I wanted to listen. The first bullet point there is for you to list any additional apparatus that is required. Listing this will give you one mark. That is one mark. Listing this is going to give you one mark here. Explain briefly how you would carry out the experiment. In explaining how to carry out the experiment, the first thing is you need to explain the method that you are going to use to carry out the experiment. And the second one is that you should always state it there that the experiments will be repeated for additional values. And this one will give you two marks. One mark for the method, and the other one, which is part of the method, is for repeating the experiment. The third one is state the key, uh, the key variables that you would keep constant. I will advise you to state at least two key variables. Three is not bad if you have up to three because here you are going to be giving two marks for stating two variables. The next one is for you to draw a table or tables with column headings to show how you would display your readings. You are not required to enter any readings. If you enter any readings, that won't attract any mark. Now, when drawing the tables, you need to take note of something. Any quantity that you are writing on the table must be with the correct units. The quantities must be with the correct units. And the quantities that you should write on the table are the quantities that you are going to compare. I'm going to solve this question so you understand what I mean. This one gives you one mark. And then explain briefly how you would use your readings to reach a conclusion. That one also gives you one mark. In most cases, when you want to answer this last one, it is either by plotting a graph of the variables that you are comparing or you just say you compare the variables. So having said this, let's go to straight to how we are going to solve the questions. Now watch as I answer the questions. 
list any additional apparatus that is required. In this experiment, the student is to investigate the time taken. And if you look at this, there is nothing like time here. We don't have anything like time here. We have a selection of containers, measuring cylinders, thermometer, supply of cold water, immersion heater. So what do we use to measure time? We actually need a stop watch or stop clock or timer. So you can see that here, a stop watch will be required. Let me highlight it. A stop watch will be needed. Now the next thing is to go to the uh, the procedure for the experiment and here I'm going to tell you the, uh, the the actual facts that the examiner needs to mark now explain briefly how you would carry out the investigation now see what I've written here using the measuring cylinder measure a certain volume of water and pour it into the container measure the starting temperature of the water in your own case, you may just give it any value. You can say measure the starting temperature of the water and record it as T1 or theta 1 as the case may be. Using the immersion heater, heat the water until it reaches 80 degrees Celsius as recorded by the thermometer. In your own case, you may say that the thermometer is inserted before heating. But um, what is required here is just for you to state it that the water is heated to a particular temperature. Recall the time taken for the water to get to this final temperature. We have done that for one container and like I said earlier, you are required to state that the procedure is repeated for other containers and that's what gives you the true max. This one, a stopwatch has given you one mark. Let me do this, one mark for this. Now, using the measuring cylinder, blah, 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 for you to have stated that you are hitting it, this one has given you one mark, one mark here. Record the time taken for the water to get to this final temperature. Okay, this gives you one mark. Repeat the procedure for two other, other containers using the same volume of water and starting temperature. Record the time taken for, this should be four, Recall the time taking for, that's for F, O, and R. Okay. Recall the time taking for the heater, heated water to reach 80 degrees Celsius for these containers. Now, having written this, you are going to get one mark for repeating the procedure. Constant variables are volume of water, starting temperature or room temperature, and final temperature. From experience as an IGCSC assistant examiner, if you have stated it here that the temperature should be the same, the starting temperature, temperature and the final temperature should be the same, and you have also stated it that the volume of water should be the same, if you don't write this, the examiner will still mark it for you. So what they actually need is for you to state that these variables are constant. Now here, the examiner is only going to mark two, so you can pick two out of these three. Those are the constant variables. And the next one is for you to draw a table or tables with column headings to show how you will display your readings. Now, lesson here, you will only get this mark correctly if you have explained here very well. What I mean is, if you have not added that the time taken is recorded, if you draw the table here and you put time, you will not get the full mark. So if it's written here that the time taken has been recorded, then you can now put it on the table because the major thing that we need is to investigate the time taken. So you must take note of this whenever you are planning an experiment. The major thing you want to do must be included in the table and with the appropriate units so let's draw the table now i may need to use um text here so we have um type of type of container 
type of container and then we have time taking now the time taken must be in seconds so we have type of container and then we have the time taken this is our table you don't need to write anything on the table with this you get your one mark and the last one is explain briefly how you would use your readings to reach a conclusion i want you to just think how would you use this reading to you know get to a reasonable conclusion you have three different types of container and you have heated them through the same range and you recorded the time taking remember that what you want to do is to plan an experiment to investigate the time taking to heat water in different uninsulated containers so how would you compare what you're actually comparing is the time taken so you write here that you compare the time or durations for the various containers you compare the time or duration for the various containers this is what i mean if this is um container a and this is b and this is c if this one take 10 seconds and this one takes 20 seconds remember you're not required to write any value i'm just so what is your conclusion it is c that takes the longest time so your conclusion is for you to compare these three you compare these three and get which container takes the longest time or the shortest so the answer to this is to compare the durations or time taken by the containers or you can say or you can say see which container takes the longest time by comparing the times by comparing the durations okay let me change this so this is the answer compare the durations or time taken by the containers or see which container takes the longest time by comparing the duration so i, I believe you know how to plan experiments now and i believe if you are writing igcse alternative to practical you'll be able to kill this question you'll be able to get all the seven marks what's my advice for you my advice for you now is to go over to another year which is not 2021 igcse october november check the question four and then solve you can just pass a comment down if you have any issue with this video or you want me to you know produce another video on igcse i'll be more than happy to do that for you and if you love this video please can you just give the video a like and then as much as possible try to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell icon so that you get notified anytime i post another interesting tutorial this is now bye from macm tutorials thank you